Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, it's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one tonight. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack. He just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your headgear? I sleep in my headgear. All the time. All the time. All right. Big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist and a professional record of 25 wins, 18 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Matt the Immortal All right, Griffin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, to back your corners, come out fighting. goes for the takedown. Well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Good. All right. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Good defense to block the strike coming back. 
She throws the right hand there. Trying to establish that jab once again. She landed a good uppercut there. Oh, big left hook there. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. Big kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Started to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh. <laughs> that shot is blocked by Brown. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big kick lands. Throwing that jab, but unable to land. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in time. That punch, no good. Side leg kick. So there it is, DC, the fighter with the longer reach, able to counter flush with a straight punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just misses with the jab. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him right, stop throwing. Huge block. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after the guns of blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Beautiful kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Keep 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Try to establish that jab. That leg kick's coming. Nice. Table of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Counter left. He loaded up there on that high kick. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, hard work pays off. Lands the Superman punch flush. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one. A little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Shot to the body here, blocked by Brown. He can't even, he can barely stand. Just missed with the left there. Loads up on the right hand and lands. Able to check the high kick. Brown gets caught with that punch. With that jab attempt there. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, doing a great job here defensively, and you've got to be of sound defensive mind to set up your counter shots. He is certainly feeling it in this round. Nice strike. Liver kick. Over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Take him down. Take the shot. Take the shot. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. 30 seconds left. Let's go. Let's fight hard. Oh, oh tags him with that money left again. That strike blocked by Brown. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out. You gotta like the output here down the stretch. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. That was awesome, okay? You really hurt him there. You knocked him down, almost ripped. All 
right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expected somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's got to be careful. Dipping his head and throwing that jab. Brown's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Both fighters throwing heat now. Brown gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Brown. Slips to avoid the right. Straight right hand now just misses. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Brown. Uppercut. It's okay. Keep going. Brown gets caught with that punch. Plus right hand is true. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Huge block there. Wow. Tags him with the uppercut. Well, a combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Good stick. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice job by the veteran there to counter with a jab to the head. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, big left. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice slip to avoid the left. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lands the right hand. Pretty good right hand. Just misses with the jab there. Checks that leg kick. Just misses with that one. Hey, he's hurt really bad. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Well, missed on that one. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for now. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. That's a big strike right there. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. 15 seconds to go. Nice 
jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only... Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I right. cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Look how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Kick to the body by Brown. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything. Oh, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down to the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch by Brown. Back and forth we go here! Big kick lands. Great kicks there. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. Oh, oh, he might be out. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he's hurt. Good punch, Lance. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. This fight's gonna be over. This. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent's body. He's going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh! Punch is blocked. And just misses with that big right hand. Big punch land. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, misses with the jab. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. So that just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body, and you gotta think his opponent is gonna continue to attack that area. Hands high, hands high. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. And he caught the kick. Right hand punch with the clinch. 
What a punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Right on the button. Nice head kick. 15 seconds. There's no tell on that leg kick. Recover, recover. Final seconds of round four. And he's looking for that left hand. It's a perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Straight punch land. He lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, straight right. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Brown gets caught with that punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Missed with that attempt. Oh, Superman punches true. Yeah. Able to check that kick as well. Just over. This kick's still attached to his body. The last time I saw it, up And he landed the right hand there. Straight right hand, no good. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! What a fight! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is what they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 15 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Matt the Immortal! Wow! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. 
Congratulations.